Hello, welcome to week two. So we're going to kick off our coverage uh, with uh, yeah, Norse versus Underworld. So I'm, I'm the Underworld team. This is our game two this season. Uh, last time around we played this team uh, in regular season, played season three. Uh, lost, I think, 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, one or 2-0. Two, no. Really struggled to keep players on the pitch. Um, so, yeah, went into this game with not a lot of confidence. And... Uh, Let's catch up with what happened. I think, I think the Norse won the toss and uh, decided to kick. Uh, yeah, they chose to kick. <clears throat> and have set up straight away. So, uh, let's go straight to the bench. We've got Shawhans, Lyman, uh, throwing the leader on the bench. So they're down to re-roll. That's what they'd normally be. So the first drive. Uh, two off awareness have both levelled. Got strength five, agility one there. Uh, block on that one. Two berserkers, one with no levels, one with guard. Uh, a couple of runners, one with dodge, one with no levels. And we'll finish looking at them in just a sec. Uh, oh yeah, blitz first kick off, very handy. Um, yeah, so Lyman, we've got um, yeah, so three on level, two of those on the line of scrimmage. Other one on the line of scrimmage has movement five and dauntless. And the Yeti, uh, it's Mighty Blow and plus one armor up to armor nine. Uh, that is that is them. So set up in a kind of reverse boat, um, with an offset line of scrimmage. Um, so I, I spread out to try and make sure they can completely escape getting all those hit, although they wouldn't be quite so important uh, or they're quite so effective being hit by these players. Um, so I've, I've got the Blitz, uh, but I've. Uh, oh, hang on. No, what happened? Oh, no, no, I didn't get the blitz. The North got the blitz, of course, because I'm uh, attacking. Uh, so the ball's down here, very deep kick. Um, my thrower here is uh, unleveled one. Do have another thrower up here who has block, so he's up, ready to, to put some hits down. Also has accurate and a niggling injury. Uh, we have unleveled Lyman, another Lyman over here with Wrestle. A couple of unleveled goblins, I think, on the line here. Oh, no, Big Hand Goblin is in there next to the troll. Two heads goblin. Jalit 4 goblin there. The troll himself has guard and then the two blitzers. Uh, tackle and horns, so horns is new, his first game of that. Uh, and might blow and claw on that one. Uh, and I had to defend a blitz. So not really a way for them to um to get at threatening the ball because I'm set up quite wide across here. Not a lot of space, but this guy could become a problem uh, with his speed. <clears throat> This guy is going to be a problem with his strength. Uh, and it's, it is going to force me into making riskier plays to, to keep the ball safe earlier on. Um, so it looks like maybe the Yeti is going to be blitzing. Uh, it does go for a, a Goblin with three dice, gets a knockdown. But the copy is fine. Uh, book on land and get on with the game proper. Um, and I'm straight away looking at having a bit more support around where the ball is. <coughs> having to start with a one dice block because all my assists were taking up. Um, do you grab that one for a stun? Uh, and now I can get some two dice. Uh, and I was hoping to get three dice with the troll um, after using my blitzers initially with two dice blocks to do that. That's take a one, then a two. And then that's just a pushback. Gets my thrower away from these more dangerous players and do get three dice from the troll. For the knockdown. So I had I had the aim of, um, like I highlighted at the end of the, the game last time, trolley threw two blocks and got no knockdowns. And I wanted to make sure I was getting more hits out of him. Uh, in this one, Norman's uh, throwing a blitz there. Need a reroll. Uh, he's over here because this can get me, I think, two dice on the Yeti. Yep, with the Wrestle Guy. He gets the knockdown. So a bit more depth here, so this protect this area a bit which uh, I'll probably be looking to move into next turn at this point 
um, but I'll hold the ball deep down here. Uh, and this run is having to come down way down here, but that's a lot of pressure on the, on the attack early on. So goblins are standing up quite well so far. The couple have been knocked knocked uh, over, They're standing up to the hits. Uh, I think is this the is this blitz here. No, he's just going into mark. Yeti's blitzing so he can stand up. Um, pushes into some assists but he's okay. But rather double skulls. It's not much good so this lineman's put that Yeti down twice so far. Uh, oh yeah the guard kept it at two dice of course. They didn't need guard, he was just an assist. Uh, so I think here I'm looking at uh, Mighty Blow Claw guy can get two dice on and off where enough, which is his name. Um, Claw's no good against anyone except the off and the Yeti. So two dice here, needs three assists for it, it gets the knockdown. Um, and a nice early death for <laughs> Strength 5 off Werner. Uh, both Creek comes to the rescue, um, but he's missing next game. Um, so that's a big player out the game, that was someone who I was wondering how I was going to deal with, but um, yeah, turn two, um, out for this game and the next one. Not sure who it is they've got next, but they don't have that old warrior to play against them. Um, so moving the ball up here, who am I looking at chucking it to? Oh yeah, fumbled it, of course. Um, so it's four plus of a re-roll, but uh, a two better one. And that's a fumbled pass. I can't I can't think where I was throwing it to. Maybe the big uh, goblin. That's a block there, actually four goblin who's a bit out of position, um, way back there. Um, but the ball, ball are not at all safe from my point of view. I'm not sure if, uh, this runner's quite quick, I'm not sure if he can reach as far. I do have a marker on my thrower, which is probably the least they'd want. I think this might be a... Uh... Oh no, go for that goblin instead. So that's a two-head goblin knocked down. Uh, no follow-up, so it's still available to maybe move this way more. Uh, no, just looking to yeah hem in my, um, my throw here, but also uh, is very well positioned and very annoyingly positioned for me because my, uh, my easy way out was hit with this guy. So this blitz uh, down here, two dice with an assist. Uh, he stopped that happening. I completely miss until later in the turn that he has horns. So that's still two dice if he just comes in there. Because he'd be at strength four or five against the Norse's four. So I spent a little bit of time wondering, uh, thinking about the best way to take this guy's assist out. And then realised I didn't need to. Um, so yeah, like I said before, first game for him with horns. So something I'm getting used to. We play Chaos for the first two seasons, of course, so I should know a lot more about horns. Um, but yeah, so I did move the troll to, to mark this guy, which was a waste as it turned out. Um, gets the pushback, which is good enough to get the ball uh, back in my thrower's hands, hopefully. Uh, oh, yeah, in here, so throw a go for it in there because uh, I wanted to make a box so I could. Hopefully get a knockdown, push this guy away, stand this lineman up and move him away. Um, is was the plan there. Uh, but needed that goblin in there to sort of complete that square so that there was a, it was a chain push on. That's another death as well. So that is the movement five. Dauntless lineman. No apothecary left now. My throw is uh, yeah, going for it. So turn three, two dead Norse already. One of them's uh, going to be back in a couple of games. Um, yeah, that is generally four goblin on the ball in case he drops this. Uh, but he's now forward, it's chucked into this lineman. He has kind of uh, run away a bit solo, uh, and now I'm just looking at a dodge here to try and cover him off a bit. This guy can still reach, you know, would be would be the favourite at a one dice blitz. Um, 
this guy just going for it. Tricky to get an assist though, so I think uh, kind of given that up, but there wasn't really anywhere I could make the ball safe down here, I don't think. Mm, just holding it in here might have been a bit safer actually, because anyone who could affect it. Oh no, he, this guy's still going to get to him anyway. But they use their, um, their blitz there to try and make space, and now they're just coming in. It's like, yeah, a guy on the side. Um, so it's 4 plus 3 plus to dodge out, which means I have to do something about it. So quite a good defensive play really, making it as difficult for me as possible. Um, I think I probably would have just taken the one dice blitz on the ball because it's one in two, it, it, you knock him over, which is pretty good odds. And then the yeah, dodge runner, easily away from the troll. And over in here to sort of interfere with these players going to get involved over here, but there's still a bit of a gap they can get through, especially with this um, prone guy as well. Don't wrestle uh, helped out with that. Um, what did here? I think I'm just blitzing this guy away. Oh yeah, when it came to um, only being a push. I was sort of thinking, oh, there's the obvious way to get him away from the ball carrier. So I could, but then I realised I only had a 4 plus 3 plus dodge on again, so it hadn't, wouldn't have changed anything. So I'm pushing there, which um, kind of might seem a bit weird, like pushing him so he's still being marked by the ball carrier, but it makes no difference to the dodge because now he's got a 3 plus dodge out here um, and can score with a go for it, so it's three, 3 plus 2 plus for the score uh, and I'm not going to be able to hold the ball safe anywhere over here so I'm looking at scoring this turn now. Um, yeah, activate the troll to get him marking those players. Uh, stand up there so they've got no easy blocks on if uh, either of these rolls fail. Uh, this makes it 3 plus for the dodge. Um, I think if I'd had to use the re-roll on that I might have uh, held him down there in case that happened. Um, but he dodged away fine, so yeah, had the reroll to throw at that one. Uh, and that's a nice early touchdown. Um, with a couple of casualties already as well, so pretty good start. Um, and a particularly pretty good considering um, there's a, a blitz against me as well. Um, I was quite pleased with that because they normally really mess up my attacks and I struggle to deal with them, or well, quite often anyway. Yeah, so now I have five turns to defend a North touchdown. I think with this team, I th I've said it quite a few times, like I struggle to keep players on the pitch, so I like to score when I've got all the players I can have um, to try and make sure I'm getting a touchdown on the board and then just try and defend. Uh, so, catches the kick. That I think that was a thrower. That's our wide animal. I think we see quite a few of those in this. Um, not that many of them are four pluses either. I think we see a lot of ones turn up on the on the twos, two pluses. Uh, yep, so using a box there to push my troll away from the line of scrimmage, so he takes that mighty blow hit out. It means I've got to use my blitz with him if I want uh, want that, and I'm probably more likely to use my blitz with this guy. <coughs> yeah, looking at attacking a wing. Uh, I can't remember if we see some pressure down here. Well, but it looks like much of the Norse are going to, to their right. And those, yeah, those last two over as well. So Norse are definitely showing a wing. Quite nicely spread out. I think they had um, it's a game late last season. Uh, I think it was a semi-final actually against Chaos Torse where they were attacking a wing but very compact so it made it quite easy to surround them and make them not go anywhere but really spread out here uh, that's throwing the ball into the middle of a, a sort of standard cage as well so I'm, I'm not getting out of the ball um, well not easily um, I think I do actually blitz the ball carrier in this turn um, which uh, was a bit of a mistake because I meant to take out I, I did need to take out one of these assists for this guy to just dodge in here on a two uh, and take two dice up here on the ball, but I actually leave it, leave him at straight five because I don't take either of those assists out. Um, which I should have done. I think I just felt like there wasn't 
that tempting a blitz target over here with, uh, with, with this guy. So I thought I'd just have a go at the ball, have a bit of a gauge dive after setting up some columns um, back here. Uh, that's felt really stupid, and I think that might be why I, I think he's who I had earmarked to just, just stand here and, um, and watch him to make it too nice uphill. But I think I miscounted cal things as well. So in on the ball carrier, realised it's three dots uphill, but got away with it without without being a turnover. But it's just a push back on the ball. Uh, and straight for goblin comes out. I used dodge early on. Um, and I think with the amount of re rolls and, and turns that were remaining, it was worth uh, just trying to keep him safe there. <coughs> um, and yeah, Norse straight away looking at where they're going to go and blitz uh, and make that blitz. Uh, that is, yeah, would, would have been two dice into one, uh, but got got it on the first uh, block, uh, and can sort of use the numbers they have here now to try and overwhelm these players. I think is the plan. Slow Norse movement. <coughs> and Yeti, uh, Yeti not cooperating. Uh, so that's how their turn ends. Um, and I looked at this for I think probably about a minute, um, trying to work out if I could get the ball player off the ball carrier surfed off the pitch this time. Um, and I found it. Um, if you want to have have a pause, see if you can work it out. Um, actually, it might be better with the uh, the skills on because a couple of them are significant. Um, but yeah, the, the the ball carrier leaves the pitch this turn. If you want to have a little work out of that, um, feel free to have a pause, uh, and we'll, we'll just play on. I did look at it for about a minute, trying to work out was this doable. Spotted a way to do it, and then uh, and yeah, played for it. So first move. Because this guy has horns, he doesn't need an assist to get two dice here. And that's a box, which means he can shove the ball carrier over near the touchline. Um, because all three things are filled in. Um, and now you can kind of see there's potentially another box here, but it does need the agility for Goblin to throw a couple of, a couple of dice at it. Um, I think it's two two plus dodges to just come stand in that square which means that when this thrower hits this this uh, runner, I can't push him back to that empty square because there's a goblin standard in it, so he can go into the ball carrier and uh, off he goes. Does lead, does mean it's uh, one dice here because I have to mark this guy to, to make that one dice as well. And yeah, agility four goblin straight in there. He's basically going to be pushed away himself, um, but it means the ball can leave the pitch. I think it would have been perhaps been nice to have have had a, one, or, one or two more players still to, available to act uh, to to look at retrieving the ball, but although it happened to just be thrown straight to one of my goblins who caught it. Um, but yeah, I was I was very pleased with myself for that, um, and apologetic to my opponent because that was quite disgusting. Um, but yeah, this uh, this this goblin's getting surfed now, which is kind of the uh, the cost of of doing it. I needed someone in there. And there's that guy there, uh, shoving off the pitch. The um, the berserker could have tried to just do that with jump up, um, but might have left himself vulnerable. So because of frenzy, so uh, in, in my, uh, not wanted to for that reason. Um, no no injury on the agility four goblin, so he's still in there. Uh, two dice on the uh, it was it was just one dice on the ball actually, but that's uh, knocked the ball carrier down and knocked it loose. And off where I'm going for that throw there. Throws on five points as well, so looking to make another pass with him next turn. He's got one completion so far in this match to go up to five. And 
that's my good thrower there. Uh, pinned against the touchline and knocked down. And some Norse can come and get tackles into the board thing. I oh, don't no, go for the pickup, go for, on a five. Uh, it does make it, uh, but now I go for a throw, which is fumbled and into the hands of my blitzer. <clears throat> so I'm doing quite well at catching bounces and loose balls and things. Uh, this, this is, yeah, six turning up there. As soon as you get rid of this guy, I want to come all the way around here. So if I'm stuck with a push, I can send him there. Um, otherwise, it's um, there's a knockout as well on that runner. Uh, but yeah, it would otherwise have been one of those two squares, which would still be marking my ball carrier, which I don't want. Um, so Lyman's heading that way. Um, she scored early on in this half. He's on three points. Uh, would level with another touchdown. Um, so I'm just really just getting him into scoring position because it's turn uh, turn seven. Um, but I dropped a hand off to that goblin who was the plan was to run him all the way down there. But I have this lineman as backup. This goblin can still score as well with two go for it. So I think this lineman just needs one. Uh, is that right? Actually, two, four, six, eight. No, that goblin can't score. That lineman is the only one who can. Uh, Dave is the big hand goblin. Uh, but that's a badly hurt. That happened over here somewhere. I wasn't. Uh, so you focused on who was a scoring threat and not. Uh, so that's a blitz on the Goblin. No, on the uh, on the Blitzer. Um, which I think considering this lineman was the only player who could score would probably have been the better Blitz target to, to go for him. Uh, or at least at least get a marker on him. But I think they're they're I think they're just focusing more on can we secure the ball rather than um, rather than stopping that but I think at least yeah at least one marker on here or if you just blitz this guy over I can't score um, is, is a one way to look at it uh, so my turn eight so if I want to score I have to get the ball to this lineman uh, and I think what I'm looking at first is uh, three plus dodge with four plus pickup and another three plus dodge so three, four, three, um, for one, two, three, four, five, six, then two go for it uh, on twos and a handoff of the three. And then he needs two, four, six, eight. So he needs he needs to go for it as well because he's moving at seven. Uh, and I banged that into Samba during this turn. I think it looked, turned out at about 16% success percentage. Um, so I found another way, um, which was if I can knock this Yeti over or at least get him away from the ball, um, that's uh, an easier pick up uh, and one, one one easier roll and one less dodge if he's not down as well. In fact, two less dodges, two fewer dodges. Um, so I stood up there. Um, yeah, move the trolling there to just mark some players and then go with this guy. So. That's because he's got the best chance of injuring the Yeti. It's only a one dice block, whereas this Blitzer could have got a two dice block. But if he'd only got a pushback, the, uh, the Yeti would still have been standing on the ball. So it wouldn't have really helped with what I wanted. So I took the one dice, got the knockdown, no injury. But the Goblin can come across. Didn't really need to roll these one at a time because I'm going for it anyway. It's turn eight and I'm trying to score. Um, but all the, yeah, all the dice came off, uh, even that one. For a surprise 2 0 half time lead. Um, and a level for that lineman who scored both. Um, I think I think we'll still have a turn actually because I did go first this half. So it's the yeah, big hand goblin out of the game who has been really useful. Um, I think a, a badly hurt on a goblin is too much to, to put the apothecary uh, into. Um, I kept forgetting that I wanted two unlevel goblins on the line rather than this six point lineman who's um, a level in waiting. Forwards, a little bit shuffling towards the ball to try and make a, a pass. Uh, 
pass probably with this thrower, who's the most reliable one to do it. Two points, ten points. If they got throwers caught caught the kick again. Another foul by the animal on a two, he's about to hit a goblin. Frenzy helping out there. Uh, yeah, for another chance, but dodge keeps the goblin up. Uh, and I unfortunately don't have another go next turn to, to try and make the most of that. Yeah, and three dice did the trick. So, successful pass for a point. Uh, and I think they're looking at trying to bring the troll down. Uh, Frenzy player is quite risky, uh, but got it got it on the first block. I think it would have been two uphill next one. That's half time. Uh, and yeah, two not. Pretty good going. Um, but then what happened in the second half is I started playing like arse. And uh, my opponent didn't. So uh, this, this game ends up being close. Um, let's, let's see what happens. Um, Norse attacking. Fairly neutral kickoff result. Uh, not a fail by Danibal though, as the Yeti had three dice on the Goblin. So, the Norse Lyman starting on that. Uh, goblin down from the Berserker. I've been really um, fortunate with Arbor Roll so far, and just one, one injured Goblin for a whole half is um, pretty unheard of for this scene. Uh, goes into one dice, show you roll, and that's good enough. And troll is knocked out. Uh, oh, worth worth mentioning that inducement. So I had a, just over 100 to spend. I think 120. But went for for double blood miser kegs for two plus recover from knockout rolls, uh, which is useful. Um, but I think that was actually the first knockout I'd suffered. Uh, expecting a lot more. So it looks uh, fairly fairly sort of solid here, but not um, not so leaning into the flank, not so committed. So they could still switch this if they wanted to. They have this guy over here as well. Who I have to watch. Have a tackle um, tackle horns blitzer here. Who could go throw a blitz at him? That's probably where I'm looking at my blitz going. But just setting up a bit of columns, um, which is is quite hard to break down without the right tools. Going for the blitz there. Um, I'll take both down for a chest bump. So both both blitzers on the on that runner. He's furthest forwards. And uh, lineman to try and dodge away there. But that was uh, yeah, the leveled lineman. Uh, I think just badly hurt. Yeah, it was just badly hurt. So I sort of decided before I made that dodge roll that I wouldn't re-roll it if it failed and uh, he's out for the game, which is a shame. Uh, three dice and the goblin finally coming off for the, uh, for the Yeti, um, but dodge has sorted it. Uh, twice, so six dice uh, and no got knocked down. Uh, and yeah, so Norse, though it looked like they were sort of showing right, they're switching this way now because that's where my defence is weakest. So good decision. They have their quickest players and the yeah, same speed as my quickest players, so it's relatively even pace wise, although I have more. So all the Skaven, uh, which is five of them now, and the other, other Lyman's injured. Uh, all movement seven, only two movement seven brothers for the Norse. Um, that's fairly solid. Don't really see a way into that, or didn't didn't in the game, and don't don't know either. And one dice there. Um, still keeping a bit of pressure over on this side, um, and taking.
making that go for it. So that's that's a player I can kind of forget about for a turn, but not for too long. Um, because all the attacks happening over here, so I can I can come over this way a bit. Uh, this goblin forwards, I think he's sitting on 14 points, 13 points. So been trying to score another touchdown with him for quite a while. Um, it's, it very often gets knocked out or injured, so I've not had a chance to do that. Uh, get myself two dice there with tackle on the dodge guy. End up just having to go pushbacks. Um, and now I think I get a bit obsessed with trying to shove him off the pitch. No, I'm so near, and I think it cost me. It, it meant I had to commit a lot of players over this way. Um, but I've got a bit of a bit of columns here, so this is this is tough to get through. Which means the Norse may want to come this way again. Uh, this is like the weakest point in my line, but it's making them shift positions again. And I've got that sort of slight um, speed advantage. So using Stunty to get right in there to that dangerous spot and the, the runner is gone. And then yeah, heading over here. So yeah, my defence very solid here, very weak here. And next turn, this guy's back in play as well. So there'll be two players over here who are scoring threats. Uh, another failed wild animal on a on a one. Um, I think that's the first time they've lost their blitz from it though. Um, I think that'll go for this this guy. Yeah, and those can use their, their sort of their numbers over here now uh, against my, the weak part of my line. Sort of try and overwhelm here and make it very difficult for me to hold them back another turn uh, in in this spot. Um, I got way too drawn in over here, um, defending only one flank and leaving this one exposed. Um, but no blitz against this turn because of wild animal. And now I think I, I again seen the opportunity of the exposed Yeti commit too many players to that because this blitzer needs um, two assists, no three assists, so I commit yeah, four players into hitting the Yeti when the attack is here. Um, another mistake I've made, just leaving this thrower to try and deal with it, basically. Mr. Lyman here, and I've got the bullets here. So they, I think without a handoff, they're still short of turning by, by uh, scoring by a turn, but they can score next to this guy quite easily. Uh, just dodge him away in case uh, the ball drops loose and I can throw it to him. And then throw the bullets there. Knocked down for a stun. Um, so yeah, committed four players to just stun the Yeti is is uh, not really enough. Yeah, dodge away that guy uh, and just use him to protect my important blitzer. Um, this blitzer is important too, but I've left him very exposed. Um, they can blitz through this thrower. Um, yeah, throw with an eagle injury. I need to protect better, um, but he's not down. Uh, and injured. And I think this was when my apothecary went. Yeah, it was a niggling injury, so I used the apothecary, and that's only a, a missed next game. So I'm without my good thrower next game. Um, and I think they can hand off to this runner, who can score this turn and is a good scoring candidate on four points. But yeah, try, trying to yeah defending against the fouled roll for that handoff quite well because uh, there'll be not a lot of getting at the ball for me if they drop it here. Uh, yeah, I'm marking the goblin just in case, uh, and they do go for a throw off. Throw I might have been worth uh, throwing a pass with three, it was three plus with a reroll um, for a star player point, but but played it, played it safe and got the touchdown, uh, and that makes it two one. Still quite early in the half as well, I think relatively. And yeah, injuries started to pile up a bit for me. Uh, two plus knockout roll not letting me down. Um, so I'm again. Uh, I think every, every actually every drive in this game I started with eleven players. Now I have no bench because I've scored a full team, three injuries. Uh, so I've got a lot of other level goblins on the pitch now. But I'm starting with starting a driver of eleven players, which is um, unusual for this team. And it's, it was quite nice. And I quite enjoyed it.
you know, setting up to defend um, with a lot of players on the line at the moment, if that's how they leave it. Yeah, so like I'm highlighted in the, uh, was it Camry, Camry against Bretonians um, from round one? Uh, I'll, I'll um, actually, I might not because I have a lot of goblins on the pitch, like I said, but uh, I, I've got the opportunity to try and hit all of these players, um, which I think I'm going for apart from the Yeti. I'm going to try and hit all four of these Norse linemen. <clears throat> Shorthand's guy on the line of scrimmage. They've had a couple of injuries, which means they need to... Uh, um, well, they, they didn't need to put him there. They could have just had three players. But I think looking at protecting uh, protecting their players to try and deny two dice blocks, but I have the players to be able to commit to that. Um, yeah, touchback. Um, straight to my throw, because he's on five points on him levelling. Have a goblin who'll catch it on a two. Um, I think trying to make sure I can get. Um, let's go for the dodge, dodge guy with the tackle horns guy. Used to re roll and take that knockdown. I think, was I looking at trying to get three dice with the troll? I don't think I can actually. I'd need a, I'd need a guard uh, in there to be able to do that. Yeah, attacking the wing, trying to get some pressure down, make sure they give them something to defend um, while I hold the ball back here. Uh, do you find two dice in that lineman? Then this goblin can move across. Uh, and that's two dice for that goblin. Just another knockdown. Uh, try and try and on the block with the uh, five point goblin just in case I grab a level out of it. Um, yeah, I want to defend this area a bit because that's where I'm going to be holding the ball. Strike on sword to here because it throw backwards. Grabs his level for his with his six star player point. And I hold the ball over here, just thinks out of reach of everyone, unless this is one of the uh, times where I miss, messed that up. I feel this berserker could reach or something. Oh no, they yeah, that was what they do. They use the Yeti as a kind of line breaker or my thrower and make a space where oh they just throw the yeti through so they've got a marker on the ball i've got an agility for goblin holding it so that's two plus dodger of a re-roll um but this berserker yeah could reach as well so I, I had the ball too far forwards didn't check that it was safe um yeah he could have been holding it back here uh, and then trying to trying to move it, even if these players had got this far down, which is about as far as they could reach. If he was over here, not far, too far go for it's in the turn. Um, they have quite a lot of those, quite a lot of ones turn up on go for it's. I think I've only got one that I can recall, which I re-rolled for a touchdown uh, early in the first half. Uh, it's goblin over next to the troll. A uh, couple, so that's giving me three dice on that short hands lineman. Just a knockdown. Buried's definitely, uh, well, throw more blocks, knocking more players over. Hasn't got anyone off the pitch yet. Um, and yeah, tackle guy again going for the dodge player. Norse, incidentally, have um, a tackle lineman who was missing this game, which was um, great for me because I'm very reliant on the dodge skill. Um, I, think, I think if he was playing, he'd have been a definite target. Over this guy, which three will free this goblin up. Um, leave my wrestled lineman kind of trying to tank over here. Goblin is in over there. And yeah, I probably should have done that earlier. Oh no, he's going for the throw, and I forgot about the stirring presence, so we made it even with that. And that is uh, Claw Mighty Blow Guy. Going for the handoff, that's what I was doing. But Fouled Animosity um, had to use a team reroll on the throw. I think I think only because I forgot about disturbing presence as well, wasn't it? Uh, oh, no, no, he, he needed a three without that. So. But yeah, it, the Fouled Animosity left an easy two dice on the ball and knocked out uh, Blitzer as a result. Um, yeah, so Ad Animosity didn't do a great deal with season three, but it's come up a few times already just in two games. That it's been quite annoying. Uh, and 
yeah, ball, ball left on the floor. I think this uh, thrower is probably going to come looking at it. Um, and this guy down here can score this turn, I think, which suddenly uh, is, is a tie game if this comes off. Uh, yeah, Stone Presence affecting my um, interception chances slightly, but that is a. Uh, oh, that is dropped, so that was it. I did forget that. So, yeah, that, that was to tie the game. Another two plus. That's another fail. Go for it. Um, I think, was that two this turn again as well? Or did the uh, the thrower fail go for it, or was it? Uh... Yeah, he did. <laughs> so, they've had so, bit, had so many failed, uh, failed go for it. Um, yeah, so I was trying to free up. What was I trying to do? I think I did something strange. You would hit this turn or next turn? Yeah, it was this turn, I think. Yeah, that was it. That was a stupid thing I did because what I was was going to try and do. What was I trying to do? I think I was going to. Mm, no, nah, because I think getting the ball to this goblin was a bit far fetched. I think I was. I think I had in mind to try and get the ball to him, and then bring the troll over to throw him uh, over here. Um, but I ended up blocking with that goblin um, and ruling that out. But I don't. I don't see why I was trying to do that. Oh no! I was going to try and throw the goblin to the ball to pick it up. That was it. That was what I wanted to do. But I accidentally used the agility four goblin to block. Uh, and later on, got yeah. I think I was left with a lot of one dice blocks that term. Um, and this is an easy three plus to score because I couldn't I couldn't get anyone down there to challenge it. That was why I think I was um, yeah left with the desperation player throwing a goblin at the the uh, troll. And this is uh, that's a, oh nearly a surfed goblin. Uh, I had to take them both down. Um, yeah, so getting some blocks in. They've got they've got three plus to score, but that will end the turn, and they've got. A, Good chance to uh, inflict some injuries potentially. Um, Yeti maybe going for someone. Uh, no, go, just going for the uh, yeah, the easy score. So that is two two. In to turn fourteen, I think that for the Norse. Fifteen maybe. So I have two turns to score. I'm pretty sure I had two turns to score. Uh, yeah, move nine up. Knockouts not being a problem, and that's the poor Mighty Blow Blitzer. Um, yeah, turn 15 for the North side. I've got two turns to try and win the game. Um, we might as well switch to my view because I'm attacking now. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of played for um, the throw teammate score this turn because I wanted to. I want to get one in this season. Um, so that means try and have the, the troll able to be freed up, um, which means hit him, with, hit him with this blitzer and then this one if I need to, or someone else. How am I doing this? I think I might be trying to go for the Yeti as well with the Claw Mighty Blow guy. But Agility 4 Goblin, crucially, already next to the troll, so if I can get the ball to him uh, with a handoff, and I have to remember it's a handoff, not a pass, because then I won't be able to throw the Goblin if I make a pass. Um, yeah, the troll doesn't have to move anywhere to, to make the um, to make the throw. So perfect defence. Terrible kick for me if it lands there. Great kick for me if it bounces out because I can just give it to this goblin. Um, but yeah, Norse defend planning on defending the ball here. So put the yeti right next to it. Um, but bounces back into their half. So obviously ball goes straight to the agility four goblin. Um, they've set up very deep to try and react to. Um, any ball carrier being around here if I'm trying to two turn it so I think I can't get enough of my team over here to protect the ball over here in scoring position uh, or any scoring threats so I'm, I'm going for the throw this turn um, and the agility for goblin um, will land on a three and then make any dodges on a two with a reroll so that's why that goblin is the one I'm, I want to be throwing Getting some, 
and blocks out the way. The troll is free to make the throw. I need him to fast pass really stupid and um, always hungry and then actually make the throw first. Um, but any knockdowns here I can get are helpful. Um, of course, if the goblin lands too short to score, uh, he's in trouble and it's 2-2. Two -two. Um, but troll pass is really stupid and and always hungry. Fails the throw, but then passes Lona to re-roll it. Uh, and the goblin does manage to run in. Has to use dodge with his first one, which is scary, but then made it. Um, I think in the end that was with no go for it, so either he landed six goes from the end. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, run it in. Um, got uh, what turns out to be the win and um, and a level. We're not 16 points. Uh, and I'm still, yeah, starting every drive of 11 players, which was um, was shocking stuff. That was definitely not what I expected against North, especially the way our game last season went. I think I, I was ending the game with four or five players on the pitch. Um, but yeah, when I can keep players on the pitch for this team, they're quite effective, which is 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 a nice position to be in. Um, and yeah, some of the skills they've got them, we just coming together quite nicely, so... I'm kind of glad I stuck with them for this season because I was um, I was looking at other options. Um, but yeah, not North's not in a position to try and score with one in one turn, um, so this this is going to win three two, um, just a turn each to go. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing else uh, significant happens. I don't think there's any more injuries. Um, definitely nothing serious. I don't know if there's a badly hurt hiding somewhere. Knocking the troll down means one less dangerous player hitting the north next turn. Uh, I'll of course be trying to use this guy to blitz with unless he's um, in, in, uh, marking someone. Then I'll probably use the other blitzer. Um, but yeah, piling tackles those into goblins um, will force me to roll some dice if I want to move them. Another point for that, that thrower puts him up to 11. Uh, within an MVP of leveling. Um, it might be worth pointing out. Um, so he's he's thrown a couple of passes to nothing for two for two points in this game. Um, and that is no removal. So this um yeah, Claw Mighty Blow Blitzer has a bit of a history of um underwhelming blocks. But it's got a knockout and a and a death in this game, so it's, it's done better. Um uh, the the death was reduced to a missing next game, but um is the the off wearer in in, uh, in turn two? But yeah, better, much more what what we want to see from him. So yeah, I'm just fishing for more two dice blocks, I think. And yeah, that one ends with a uh, a little one in nine. I think that ends the game. It does. Um, yeah, and that thrower thrower on those nothing passes. Um, yeah, both of those important for grabbing his level. Uh, not sure what he took actually. Um, I thought my opponent couldn't stick around for for the leveling rolls. Um, good MVP landing there. Puts uh, this blitzer within another MVP of another level. Um, if he casualties early next game, I might try and score a touchdown with him. I think he'd be the the best candidate for it. I'd like to get him tackle next to add to these. Um, but yeah, still still heavily up blocked, but was very fortunate with armor and injury rolls. Um, did suffer three casualties, um, but uh, was it only showing was it only showing two injuries inflicted? I don't know if one was from a failed dodge or something. Good, good one have been, or a go for it. Um, yeah, loads of failed go for it's for the um, the Norse. That was a it was quite, ended up being quite a key thing because you could sort of see they were coming at quite key moments as well. Uh, six, which will include ones that were re-rolled. Yeah, I don't think it was six turnovers from Kofritz, but there were, yeah, the, the, they could have scored that their second touchdown one turn earlier. Um, I couldn't stop it happening next turn, but um, but yeah, there were, um, yeah, a lot of key moments where they were either burning rerolls or getting turnovers from those. Um, Wild Animal was pretty poor. I think there was only one, maybe two, four plus ones that failed. There was a lot of ones thrown there. Um, yeah, and that, but that's that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, 
I thought it was pretty good. Uh, most of these were will be rolled because it was mostly um, goblins throwing them. Uh, and yeah, the one one throw teammate which was re-rolled and the lo loner coming off was very helpful. Um, yeah, so I got I got fortunate there because loner you can expect to to ruin it whenever you need to rely on it. Um, the touchdown right at the end of the first half I got very fortunate as well. All the dice I needed go through, um, and that uh, yeah, that was some key stuff. Um, so we have had where did we get to? Oh, we had the Bretonian off. Um, which finished one nil, and not had a chance to look look back at this one yet either. Um, that's a good MVP on the mighty blow guy. So touchdown for him, and he, he goes up. Uh, or could be, could, yeah, he's developing into a quite dangerous player. But yeah, they ended one nil. Looks like this team might have got the uh, the best of the blocks, and that was probably what edged it. Uh, but yeah, need to need to watch it back uh, as well as the uh, Silver and that had a chance to watch the Necromantic Kemri one, um, and we've got yeah, Undead, um, uh, Undead and Lizard Men to go. Uh, so Undead coach got married yesterday, um, so yeah, I drove back from Tunbridge Wells to Durham today um, after being at the wedding. Um, yeah, it's been a long day, and it's now oh it's eleven fifteen p.m. I should go to bed. Uh, but yeah, that's how we stand. I have completely forgotten who I've got next time. I have got... Ah, I've got Bretonians, okay. Let's look at how some of these teams are going. Because we are... Uh, Kemri still has levels to take. So that's from their game against Necromantic. I don't know if they've already rolled it and are thinking about it, but they've got, they've got skeleton leveling. Uh, but they're otherwise pretty unchanged, I think, from what we saw. They only won 1 0, um, so probably not that many levels going around. The Necromantic didn't level anybody. <coughs> their, I think their guard zombie nicked the MVP, but another cheeky casualty or a pass for that zombie. We'll see them level again. Uh, and block and guard would be nice on there. Um, how are the Bretonians looking? I think. I think this team didn't have any levels, but they've still got players close to it, um, kind of right through the team, close to at their first or second level. And the Pretend team are playing next week, how do they look? Um, so they have that tackle strip ball guy, um, who was very dangerous in their first game that we watched. Um, and he'll be a threat to me because he's got a tackle. Uh, there's also a diving tackle blitzer as well, so both players I want to look out for. I'll have to look out I don't get caught out by this strength four guy. I don't know if this um, this strength two guy is sticking around. I don't know, maybe he'll be the, the guy who kicks people in the head. Um, who knows? Uh, but yeah, so all these blitzers piling on levels. Movement eight guy, I have to watch out. There's so many things you've got, like, like little clever tools they've got that sh will be really annoying if you don't spot them and, uh, and and account for them. So I think that's going to be a hard game. Uh, two guards as well. Um, also with two guards now uh, on my team. The lineman who leveled rolled a double. So guard was kind of the obvious choice for a lineman. Uh, and that's that's what he's got. So two guards each. Um, strength advantage to Bretonians, of course, because I've got all these goblins. Which means the strength two lineman can probably quite happily uh, square up to those. Uh, the other levels I had, uh, was it just one more? No, no, thrower. Thrower level, of course, all these passes uh, took block. And the agility 4 1 uh, was desperate for a double to take wrestle, but didn't get one. So took horns instead. So he can do things like where he cage dived in the first half and just, um, j yeah, just dodging in quite easily. Um, but then get plus one strength on his blitz, which um, will hopefully make him quite dangerous. Not as dangerous as wrestle will. Um, I'd still like to add that, but uh, yeah, I'll bump his horns. So two horns players can help out with my strength um, deficiency as well. Uh, I can't think of else we haven't seen. We've seen everyone. The Norse did have, oh, the Norse did have levels, didn't they? So throw and leveled. Uh, and taking short hands, so yeah. Always a good skill for a thrower because you want them yeah, being able to use their pass skills, so they're going to have to hold the ball, which means picking it up uh, reliably is helpful. Um, and then, yeah, off we're in a miss in the next game. Let's look at all the, uh, 
all the next week's games are yeah, so Underworld and Bretonians, uh, Lizard Men Kemri, um, I think it's that a replay of a semi final last year, which is Kemri won, of course, because they've won the whole season. Uh, this is the other Bretonian team against Necromantic, and Undead against North, so uh, Undead as a, as a little wedding present for James, um, a strength 5 off wearing his mission the match. Uh, and, but they, of course, still have a game to play this week against. Uh, oh, we've come right out of the competition. Um, yeah, so these these teams are both as we still lost. Um, and I think this is this video is long, so there's quite a lot to see in our game. But yeah, this is this is the undead team with all the white blowing. They've got a couple of players missing the game, uh, and they're playing lizard men. I think are actually in quite good shape. They. So usually have loads of players out injured or they have, they have a bit of a history of having players out injured all the time but no full squad um and it'd be interesting to see what people have to think about inducements and stuff i don't think i'll have any against bretonians um uh, oh i do Cause yeah i've got quite a low team range i've got my good throw on this in the game of course um which will be part of that so i've got 1500 that's a, a wizard's worth of inducements might be where i go um yeah, something to think about. Um, but yeah, I, th I think we probably will not not cover this game when it happens. I think it's not going to be till next weekend. Um, but we'll be back uh, in round three. It's definitely this game. Hopefully, another one for for round three because we didn't uh, we didn't cover many of round two.